I'm Curtis Hawes, I'm a lecturer here at East Sussex College and um, I'm here to talk to you about uh, the Creative Media Higher Education course we run. So the course we run, the Creative Media course, um, runs in two different strands. We have a uh, film and television strand and we also have a games development strand and what we find of a lot of uh, younger learners and students at level three is they're really coming into what it is they want to do as a career and um, deciding actually, you know, I really like the media aspects of, of the course so they can continue on to a media strand, i.e. the film and television. Um, and we also get students who really want to develop their skills in game development um, and want to go into indie development, AAA studio development, so we run our HE course here to enable them to do that and give them the skills required. Um, so what I really love about uh, our Creative Media course is that um, our students are able to collaborate together within the next uh, two years of education here um, and they don't just collabor uh, collaborate with each other in stuff like uh, being able to create advertisements for games so they work with the media students to do that um, they can also you know, make their own games and also collaborate with other departments. We've got our um, higher education in music here as well, so we use the music students um, with our game students and they have a module for video game music and they work together to be able to create uh, music for their game. Um, so in the first year of the course, um, they're essentially tasked with a project and the project is to work in a team as if they're in an indie game development environment to create a product. Um, and they have the entirety of the year to create the product at the end they can really see what they've learned throughout the year the skills have acquired and also it's a fantastic opportunity for them to put it on a portfolio they can show off to future employers um, and uh, something that's just great in general to put on a CV if they want to go to AAA development or you know, indie game development they can do that um, so throughout the two years on the game strand specifically um, you'll be using industry uh, standard professional software such as Autodesk Maya um, we also use the Unity engine. Um, we also do quite a lot of programming and scripting in C Sharp, um, but we don't tailor all our lessons to those specific pieces of software. We also um, are a bit adventurous in other software such as the Unreal Engine, um, learning how to use blueprints, um, also engines such as uh, Houdini to create effects for their games. So you're not just learning the technical side of game development, you're also learning the artistic side of games development. Um, so it's, it's taking all of these different skill sets into account to create a really good looking product that you can be happy to produce uh, and show other people um, out there. So after you uh, complete the two years of the course you'll have a fantastic portfolio put together and also the skills um, needed to be able to collaborate with other people who want to work on games um, and doing so you'll be able to leave the college and go to work for indie game companies um, and locally there's some fantastic opportunities for our students to work in indie game companies such as in Brighton uh, close by we've got um, Game Alien and uh, Creative Assembly just a bit further up north and we've also got studios and AAA studios like Hangar 13. Um, one of the big Unity studios is here down in Brighton as well. So uh, locally in the area there's fantastic opportunities available for the students um, to progress on to and uh, to look to in the future. So um, to wrap things up, our HE course is um, the fees are generally a lot lower um, and uh, because it's a lot lower it helps our students get to where they need to go in industry.